of the bridge tool. It's a very simple and easy to use tool if you need to close up gaps. So I'm going to take this section over here and I'm going to connect these three faces to the faces across to the opposite side. And so how this works is you simply select the edges that you would like to bridge. So like this one over here in the middle and then that one across to the opposite side and then under the mesh tools uh, sorry, the edit mesh tools, um, you'll see that there is a bridge function. So the bridge, if we go into the option box, has a few additional options that we can play with. First of all, it's set to linear, so it's just going to take one edge to another and then connect the faces. Um, you can create um, a curve-based kind of shape where you can go and manipulate the actual curve profile, which will give you the... Um, you know, custom kind of manipulation. Uh, the default, let me just click uh, edit reset settings, you will see it starts off with a division of five. So it's actually going to split this model across five um, faces. So if we look over here, we've got one, two, three. So in this case, we can easily set that to three and then hit apply. And then we have equal number of edges that we can then go and connect. So that's a very nice way of making sure that you already have pre-made edges uh, that we can then go and connect together. So what I'm going to do now is simply select these edges over here. In fact, we've got one, two, three, and over here we've got one, two, three, four, which means we technically only need two divisions. So I'm going to undo that. And then we're going to just set that to two, which will split it up with three, two edges in the middle, but three faces. And hit apply, and there we go, that looks better. So now we can go ahead and select equal opposite edges. And then as long as they match on either sides, you should be able to connect this. So this time, I don't need the additional divisions. So I'm just going to hit apply now. And you'll see that we've got unnecessary edges over here that's not really connected to anything. So if I go to vertex mode, you'll see that there is a gap in between. So we don't need those additional edges. So you can either remove them manually, you can reduce this value to zero, or what you could do is you can just go and uh, change it after the fact. So I'm going to go back into my channel box and you can see over here we've got a bridge um, edge function and that was the last set to divisions of two. I'm going to set that to zero and that will also get rid of those additional components. So we can go ahead and match the number of edges on this side with that on that side to try and fill this up. So yes there was a bit of preparation beforehand uh, but um, that's always required especially if you want a clean bridge. Okay, hit bridge and it's giving me an error saying that is the equal number of border edges to be selected for the source and the target. So let's see, we've got 15 edges on this side and I need to select 15 edges on that side as well. So let's see, 13, 14, 15, there we go, 15 over there, right. So now let's try that one more time. And now that we have selected them to match, we can see that the bridge is applying it correctly and it still keeps the old two division section, which allows us to connect these afterwards. You just need to be very careful when they're merging across such a sharp 90 degree angle that you might want to you know, choose um, how you want to bridge these uh, manually a little bit later. Uh, or you can delete the faces and then redirect them manually. Uh, there's one or two extra things I, I'd like to cover in terms of this tool. Uh, like I said, in the bridge itself, you will see that there is uh, these two or these three options for bridge types. And currently it's linear, so it just connects it as I've mentioned before. So these options are also selectable after the fact under the curve type in the floating window. If you don't have this window, it's probably because you haven't, uh, you might have gone out of the tool and deselected it. So if you want to have that window pop up again, just select the mesh, go back to the channel box, click on your last inputs connection, and then you should see that window pop up again. 
I'm just going to quickly switch the, the mode type from linear to blend. And you'll see the blend is actually very smart at trying to find a very smooth round profile. So if you add more divisions, you'll see how it's trying to create an even distribution or even flow across that curvature. I'm creating a quick uh, polygon plane here. I'm going to delete some inner faces. Let's say over here and select a single edge on one side a single edge on the other and then when we do the bridge and we set that um, let's leave it as is for now I'm gonna hit apply close I'm gonna change that to curve just need to make sure that I have all my options checked here show all don't have any hidden objects look like it we should technically see a curve but for some reason we're having a visual bug here okay I'm gonna come back on this and then show you guys what the problem was and we're back so the reason why it wasn't working for some reason if you're trying to do the command uh, after um, you know doing the bridge from the initial settings then it seems to not work at all so I'm just gonna reset that again hit apply just to simulate the effect if you're trying to change it after the fact over here it dis uh, disregards the fact that you wanted to use a curve and so I think that's that's a, a my 2016 bug that needs to be fixed. Uh, however, if you go and change the settings in the menu, it does generate the curve like expected. And then we can go ahead and select that curve, go to its components, and then grab the components and then adjust the profile of that bridge. So that essentially works for what we require in the bridge tool. And um, if you guys want to try these out, by all means, these are really, really awesome. And thanks for watching. Ciao.